Masquera say, Marezim Babuge, welcome to our channel, Zim Contributions and Deep Secrets. Can I get you to have a couple of people on your channel? Please don't forget to subscribe. Don't you want to get a subscriber? Don't forget to comment and share this video. Nas Marezim Babuge, Tapi Girai, Nia Guritwa, the leader of the opposition movement for democratic change, the MDC. Iyo yukutunga mirua na wa Douglas Mwonzora, wa Buda, wa Chanonza, wa Chiti, e, party yao, hini ma plans ya e kumita the three presidents au varukua tenda the upcoming Sada Gade of State Summit ya kutuwa Muzimbabwe muna August. Itawaraya wa Chiti, e, the aim ya meeting ya ndeku discussa the country's agent need for my electoral reforms. Uh, so President Masum Nangagwa is preparing to assume the chairmanship of the Southern African Development Community. So the MDC Wabuda Wachiti, they see the summit as a prime opportunity eh, to promote the principles of free and fair elections mu Zimbabwe. Wabuda, ma Douglas Monzora Wachiti, Sadak's upcoming, Sadak's coming to Zimbabwe is a good thing as Zimbabwe assumes responsibility in Sadak because then Zimbabwean leaders, especially President Mnangagwa, may understand the principles of SADC, especially the principles governing free and fair elections. Dr. Buda Shitoro, na wa mwunzora, waka confirm wakuti his party, yaka secure ma the appointments, ni three, yaka secure ma appointments, ni three ma head of states, kutu wangu wachi discuss the electoral reforms, but yaka nangeba nima ma head of states aya, since they want to follow my diplomatic protocols. Babuda, we're going to meet them. Unfortunately, I can't tell you which head of state, but agreed, which head of state have agreed to meet us. But we have so far about three, about three. I have to see them first, then tell you about them formally. Mm. So the MDC, Leader Waburachi emphasizes the necessity of electoral reforms to improve the public participation and to ensure the integrity of the electoral system in Zimbabwe. We want the diaspora vote. We want the people who are outside this country, who are Zimbabweans, to have a say in who rules their country. So when the people outside the country don't want to remain in the United Kingdom, Botswana, or South Africa forever, but want to come back home to a better Zimbabwe and have a say in who governs the country. highlight the significant contributions through my remittances and eight one one bari kunze kwenyika kwa mwonjora wenda rambiri wachi kola for an independent Zimbabwe electoral commission zek wachi criticizer wachiti the current structure and financial dependence on the minister of justice legal and parliamentary affairs wachiti it shows good zek haisi independent it will support the government mungu itakwayo wakatolewa wachiti the European Union, Europa Futi, Mari, Kuzek, Wakatolewa Wachiti, there is corruption and lack of transparency in my two elections in Zimbabwe. We want the reformation of Zek. Zek is not independent. We are not worried about the commission itself, but worried about the committees under the commission. And those are Buddha. Wachitaura, 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 the Minister of Justice and Legal Parliament and Legal Affairs, Mr. Charles Okari, from Sorope EU. In a few weeks, you will be seeing NERA rolling out its program. We are doing something about reforms as the MDC. We don't believe in voodoo politics. We don't say God is in it. We say God is in us. God gives us the brain to challenge. God does not just stand there when you do nothing. You do something. God does not work that way. We believe God works with us. Those are Buddha. So, when I was in Zimbabwe, I was in Zimbabwe. 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 I was in
eh, ma meetings ma kutaura kuti they have secured ma meetings ne three ma of states eh, eh muno musadak kutaura kwa true kuita vane vazimumba nga pane video ratambo kupai panapa pa zoom conversations vane vazimumba eh ba muda ba chitora ya vachiti ma of states eh, muno musadak hanzi eh, they are useless since they kavasati wa ugona kukonfantana on my issues aninge ati kurei waka saita nye ma elections akaribu waka karibu wa muno mzimbabwe wakichara ya wakiti for example eh, my elections ya muno mzimbabwe eh, the way ya haka ndo wanayo hapana muna haka kwanza kwa nukwa chikonfanta president emerson muna ngagwa since because they are afraid kutu waka konfanta the other president yu wano kuna kuzo konfant ho pambera hapo sika zoto muna yuna say nye ii is this thing going to work kana kutitu zezo muku funga pa msoro penye ya ii mkoment section when one of the Saudi countries is struggling in keeping the democratic tenets and ensuring that there is uh, the rule of law in those countries and also there is equity in the management of the elections, mm. the presidents in the region have been finding it extremely difficult to confront one another sometimes over the things that are happening in their countries. I agree. Yeah, because you know there are many reasons given for that. One of them is that, well, some of the president feel if I'm if I'm hard on my colleague and I'm found in a similar situation tomorrow, mm -hmm. they'll be hard on me. Okay. So it's, <laughs> these are comrades yes, that you know yes, yes. Become, they call each other each other brothers. Mm -hmm. If you notice, you know the, the president. So they're a family, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, they will confront each other. I know over very very serious issues. Okay, but I wish they could go a little bit further to sort of. <laughs> make a decision that when they are dealing with issues that are really life and death, they don't compromise. So, but if it's a small issue, they can laugh over coffee and find a way to deal with it. Sadiq faces a challenge. Mm -hmm. The challenge is to find if there's a rogue nation amongst the states in the Sadiq and the colleagues fail to point out those issues, um, I think that we risk losing the um, respect that Sadiq has had. So, and I think we are now teetering uh, at that issue. We had a challenge in Zimbabwe not too long ago. Yeah, yeah. And um, so what came out of that election and the way it was interpreted and the conflict it brought amongst other Sadiq nations gives us the indication that the problem in, in, in Zimbabwe is not a now problem. Because yeah. even when there was the former president, uh, Robert Mugabe, mm -hmm. he, 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 goes, he goes as one of my greatest heroes in terms of what he believed in, mm -hmm. that you know, Zimbabwe belongs to Zimbabweans, their land belongs to them. Mm -hmm. And the process on how he was trying to get the land may be a little bit unorthodox, mm -hmm. but I agreed with his principle that Zimbabwe belongs to Zimbabweans. But there were certain things that were being done during his time that other presidents were afraid to talk to him about. Uh -huh. He was a big brother. Yeah, yeah, he was, yeah, you know, yeah. he was, he was the oldest. He was the oldest. Yeah. So how do you go in Africa to an old man in authority, an old king, and tell him, sir, you know, your dress, your, your, your gown there has got a hole at the back? Mm -hmm. It's very difficult. Mm -hmm. But I think that uh, as we move forward, as Sadiq has recognized its uh, mistakes, and uh, some of the things that we have not done right, I can only hope and pray that as we move forward,